Thank you for making a show about wrestling that even I, as someone who only knows the basics, can enjoy. I appreciate Thank that. Thank you. I, uh, I am fully of the belief that genre doesn't matter if you tell a great story with great characters in a full world. And I feel like watching this show really proves that because I really don't know much of anything about wrestling. Hey, Amen. I'm so happy to hear you say that. I felt uh, I think we all felt the same way when we read the scripts. At the end of the day, at the heart of any great story, it's, it comes down to character. Yeah. Well, Stephen, because you came to the show as such a fan of wrestling yourself, was your bar set that much higher for what you wanted it to be and what you wanted it to continue to evolve, to evolve into? From an evolutionary perspective, uh, I, I haven't really thought about that. I mean, we're still trying to bring the first season to the world. Um, but, I mean, my goal after reading the scripts was to just put what was on the page on the screen um, in the way that I saw it, like in my mind's eye. And I think we did that. You know, I think that, I think that we, we created a, a, a really rich world that, um, you know, is a love letter to professional wrestling and the men and women who, who do it removed from the spotlight and the glitz and the glamour of WWE or AEW. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's shining a light on a, a really important and integral part of professional wrestling that not a lot of people know about. So um, I think we did a good job and, you know, but time will tell. Alex, what made you want to take on Ace? What was it about him as a character that made him appealing to you? Was it that he is so flawed? Absolutely. You know, you hit it on the head. It's why I had to interrupt for a second. It was just, I'm so happy to hear this because I hear this time and time again. Like, I don't know a lot about wrestling, but I love this show. And I agree. It's, it's at the heart of any story is characters that you can see yourself in. I mean, who can't relate to busting their ass to put food on the table for their family or wanting more out of life. Um, why I loved Ace so much. And I was so grateful that when, when I, the offer had come in, I was like, this is a character I have wanted to play my whole life. You know, this guy is just, I see myself in him in so many different ways. Um, he's just an explosive personality in comparison, but, but, you know, he's just an elevated version of, of these emotions that I've felt for sure. And um, I've just loved what a roller coaster of emotions he is. And when you take a character who's so uh, colorful and then put him in a world that's even more colorful, um, I think you're, you're onto something really, really special. You both come off of shows that were really physical with Arrow and, and Vikings. How does the physicality and the stunt work that you have to do on heels compare to what you've done previously? Did any of your past work prepare you for this or is this very different? I don't think that anything, nothing prepares you for professional wrestling. It's a one of one experience. Nothing prepares you for hitting the ropes. Nothing prepares you for to just that, that first time that you get in the middle of the ring and they go, all right fall down what fall down hit the mat hard except don't get up with a concussion so you know there 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 there's so many tricks and things that you can do i mean you know alexander on vikings with the with that wardrobe and you know the, with the big battle scenes the, the utilization of, of of doubles and stunt doubles and stuff like that same same for me with an arrow suit with a hood and a mask on um there's no hiding in the, in the wrestling ring it's it's uh it is an incredibly unique experience and um you know i i think that before anyone comments on it they should just do those two things in a wrestling ring and see how it feels yeah how is it for you alexander i mean this seems like very different it's not work shit yeah i got my bell rung i mean I, the first time i hit those ropes and i did a flat back bump i was just like whoa there's nothing fake about this except for the storylines. And even that can go haywire. That's what's so exciting about the show is that you get to explore that. What happens when you don't follow the, the storylines that were set forth? You know, it's a live performance. But at the end of the day, the athleticism that's required um, for your body to withstand such like abuse is uh, is incredible. And I mean, we trained more of than anything uh, I've trained, I trained more for this than I have for anything. Um, and this was certainly the most physically demanding. Um, but as Steven said, you know, there's no faking this. I mean, we did all the stunts. 
Um, we had an incredible stunt team that came in and educated us and that was there when we needed them, you know, but, you know, I would say 90% of this um, we ended up having to do and um, we needed to do right by the wrestling community. And I have such huge respect for them because let me tell you after 10, five to 10 minutes in that ring, I, I am heaving. I'm gassed. I, I can't imagine 40 minutes in this ring. And then they're doing it night after night after night, hundreds of days out of the year. It's just unbelievable. Since brothers love and hate each other, what, what do your characters most admire about each other? And what are they most envious about with each other? I think Jack's probably jealous of Ace's hair. <laughs> and I think that the thing that he probably hates about him most is, um, uh, I, don't, I don't think he likes his wardrobe person. I think it's, I think it's probably like Ace, like really like jerseys. Okay. You're a grown man. Just get it together. I think um, Ace, when he looks at Jack, he sees this uh, macro mindset. You know, if if you were going to put this in, in into you know terms of people that are actually live, like Jack's on his way to becoming Vince McMahon. You know, Ace is on his way to becoming Shawn Michaels. Whether or not that happens is uh, is up to the the storyline. But I think that um, um, Jack has such a macro sense whereas ace is so impulsive and emotional that sometimes he just sees red and he can't see beyond that do you guys feel like you hit a very brotherly groove with each other pretty quickly yeah yeah yeah, yeah. alex Al alexander's my dude you just we got along straight away we started working together um you know and 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 i i think both of us have experienced appreciate and understand that there's no there's no easy way to to do a TV show. You you have to be prepared, and you have to you have to be what your scene partner needs you to be, whatever that is. That was kind of both of our mindset. Was like we both knew we had to give our all to earn the respect of the wrestling community. Yep. But regardless, like I I don't I don't have to like you on a film set. And Steven's the same way. Just show up and do your shit. The That's fact that I loved Steven was just was just incredible. And, and there was an element to this that really blew me away that I didn't expect. And that was the kind of trust that you have to have in another actor when you're doing these stunts, because if I'm suplexing Steven or, or in reverse, we need to make sure that we're not going to drop each other on our heads, yeah. you know, and, and that bond carried out of outside of the ring and, and Steven's family to me. And he always will be. How do you guys feel about spandex now? Do you have a new appreciation <laughs> for spandex? Do you have a deep hatred for spandex? I'm I just gotta stop I'm skipping leg day. Yeah, yeah, no <laughs> skipping leg day. Um, I've always loved it, and frankly, I've been looking for an excuse to wear it more often. So, you know, I'm good. I'm I'm good. Bring it on. Seems like it'll raise the expectations for Halloween. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> that's when you know you made it. You got a bunch of people on Halloween dressing up in spandex. Um, our our um, our costume designer um, Laura Laura Bauer was was just phenomenal on this though. I mean, once you put all that stuff on and you, you enter the ring, I mean, you really feel like you're in the world. Is there a real wrestler that either one of you or both of you would like to have come to a guest spot on the show? Oh man, I've been begging Adam Copeland because um, he was just so he's a friend of mine and he's um, you know, he's one of the greatest heels of all time. He's in the, the hall of fame. And I leaned on him a lot just in preparation for this. Uh, he was edge. So I I've been like, Adam, man, we got to have you on the show. We'd be so lucky to have you. So hopefully if this continues, I would love, love for him to come on. Well, we're not paying him anything. <laughs> uh, I give me, God, uh, give me, um, give me Becky Lynch, Becky Lynch. I'd love to have Becky on the show. Well, awesome. Thank you, guys. I, I definitely love the female characters on the show, too. So I think more of that is also. Yeah, awesome. yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for talking to me about it. Thank you. Thank you.